So today we're going to look at the Iron Spider. Mainly the black version one. So everyone, I'm pretty sure you've already seen the red version, which is released a month ago. Well, I'll just have to uh, show the box for both. Okay, here they are out of the box and I gotta say they are both perfectly fine no defects on my part as I've already checked and uh, they have the same set of accessories so same set of hands and same set of spider arms so the only big difference is only the color scheme. So the black version, you can only purchase it at the Kyodo store. So since I was in Akihabara earlier, uh, Kyodo store and Amiami store is on the same building. So that's no problem for me. I easily grab the black one immediately since it's the rare one and there's still some stock on the uh, Iron Spider red version a lot on MM so this black version is released today September 4th as I said before it can only be purchased at Kyoto store right so it's then just about 16 centimeters so for size comparison here it is again for the red version and Sentinels Miles Morales from the Into the Spider-Verse SH Figure Arts Marvel Spider-Man and Mafex Peter B. Parker. Here it is with All Might. And here it is with the Joker. So for hand accessories, already attaches the uh, twisted hands with holes in it. I don't know for what accessory. We have the crawling hands or the wall crawling hands and stylized open hands and of course it's not a spider-man not for 
dripping heads. These are the two pieces for support for the spider arms. And of course, four pieces identical spider arms. It comes with the revolt stand or amazing Yamaguchi stand and some extra Revoltec joints so I did mention earlier why is there a hole on the fist hands that was supposed to be for the web uh, the one that comes with the Spider-Man number 2 of Amazing Yamaguchi which is I don't have so it also comes with a magnet which is plug, plugs into his back right here if you want to put him somewhere in a metal place maybe in your fridge if you want And also two pieces of spider webs. Now for articulation, Amazing Yamaguchi has really improved on this one. So the head goes up by that bar. It's a two pieces of plastic. The neck is on a ball peg. And this is famous for amazing Yamaguchi. There's a shoulder joint here. Not really a butterfly joint, but it helps to do the butterfly movement. Robotic joint on the shoulder and go up by that far. Now another robotic joint on the elbow. And the wrist joint. Also a robotic joint. Now for the torso, inside here is also a revolted joint. Another ball pick on the lower torso. And really crunch that. Now for the legs, you can do the split by that far. And there's a cut in here, so it can swing. Now this is new for the robotic line. The knee. This knee joint is now movable. Unlike the others that I've seen, for example, All Might has a solid plastic right here. That's kind of weird if you do that. Now for the Iron Spider, it's sticking out right like that. It's not perfect, but at least there's movement. There's also a revoltic joint under it here. You can see that I pull this out. Now 
for the food. Also a robotic joint right there. Which can clearly do the ankle pivot. No problem. And the toe articulation. Now installing the uh, spider arms, you actually have the choice if you just want three or you want to use all four of it. It's amazing how just the tentacles can support the whole body. It actually reminds me of the one I bought from Haratoni. A custom spider arms for the anti-ox suit of SH Figure Arts. Well, I already made a separate video for this one, so please check that out on my channel. This is such an amazing figure and I'm really glad that I got both of them. Well for those who really want the uh, black version, if ever that you are in Japan, you can just easily grab one of those in the Kyoto store. And if not, I don't know which website to search. Uh, better try Google. <laughs> anyway. Of course, for an amazing Yamaguchi figure, I would rate this 10 out of 10 since I really don't have any complaints about the figure. So, that's it for my review and I hope to see you in the next one.